I'll begin uh, by you know, speaking very broadly about what uh, modernity and transgression um, at least mean uh, according to the uh, approach that I'm taking in this project on um, the new Korean cinema. Well, uh, modernity has been defined by the drive to enact a radical break with the past, to cast off the weight of history and tradition in order to create uh, a new and emancipated way of life. The drive to uproot deep-rooted hierarchies and break through long-standing social and political boundaries characterizes the attack on religious faith and clerical authority carried out in the name of reason, uh, the dissolution of traditional social bonds by the capitalist market, and the overturning of the feudal order by a politics centered on rights and contracts. To create a society worthy of an emancipated humanity, it's necessary to sweep away what has grown old, familiar, repressive, and ossified. To bring about innovations on a civilizational scale accordingly requires acts of transgression, even if such gestures sever the age-old attachments that had provided human beings in earlier periods with the means to weather collective ordeals such as war, foreign invasion, and other disasters. So I think this is also a very crucial distinction between uh, modern and pre-modern societies in that self-fulfillment and self-realization were generally available to an elite, right? whether I suppose it might be Buddhist monks keeping um, secret wives to um, uh, uh, you know, uh, aristocrats in Europe engaging in debauchery, but that this kind of behavior was generally uh, you know, kept from um, um, ordinary people. Right? And, and that modernity, in a, in a sense, as, as a project of emancipation, um, you know, represents a turn in which ordinary people can actually partake in these kinds of, of um, privileges and also excesses. Um, so um, this is, um, it creates a situation where um, tr um, tradition um, you know, is, is uh, perpetually imperiled. Um, and I think in the Korean context, it um, is particularly, uh, um, uh, it's particularly um, dismaying and, um, and, sh and uh, shattering uh, because um, it marks, I think, the, uh, a generational divide between young people and, and old. I mean, the older generation being those people who had um, a, uh, who have a memory of, uh, of the hardships of, of Korea when it was an impoverished country and also uh, memories of the uh, authoritarian um, uh, dictatorship um, to, versus uh, young people today uh, who um, only uh, know Korea as, a, as an affluent uh, capitalist democracy. Right? And I think this is a divide that is more severe than any kind of than the ideological conflicts of the past because, um, because old and young, in a sense, basically live in different worlds. Right? There's no shared world um, anymore. And I think the, the, this um, crisis is um, explored in a, a series of films that I sort of call the anti-teen movement.